Right, this is Kamal from Nokia Reviews and today we are going to take at the RTM build for the Windows Phone 10, Windows 10 Mobile. Um, this is the 14939, which is apparently the latest build available right now. 14393. A lot has changed. If you are on the uh, latest stable build, a lot has changed. Seriously, so many tweaks are in there. The first and foremost that you see are two things. Um, of course, the app animation, which is a little bit different. I'm hoping the people are for the first time. I don't know. Maybe it's doing some sort of reshuffling or something. a lot of time I'm just opening it for the first time maybe that's why welcome this to the feedback hub okay anyway oh I opened the feedback hub this is oh, I can I got confused by this and this that I can that's the people very nice and fluid um, same goes for the animations. You see the animation is much quicker. I don't know if you guys noticed it or not, but the font is much thinner now. Looks much more sophisticated and modern. Another big change in the 14393 is the updated store app, which shows you the uh, notification of the app that got updated. For instance, I just updated the Windows Map and Outlook one out, and it told me to just got out of the app and look at it. Just inviting users to use the third party apps or, or the other apps again and again, more and more, so that they get hooked to the phones more often. As far as the calculator app, it, uh, the start times are much better now. I'm running this on the lowest. And the cheapest Windows Phone available out there. Lumia 430 is still running much faster than before. Outlook. And I have set up quite a bit of accounts here. Quite a lot of accounts, handling them with no problem at all. Same goes for the Twitter. And let me tell you, it used to take a lot longer than that. On the uh, latest build. You saw that animation. Animation is much better as well. Fire up the camera. Let's start word mobile. It takes like it took like five seconds. Did you see that the animation? When the app exits, it's so much quicker. It makes everything look and feel so much quicker. And of, of course, the map apps that has gone massive changes. So much more sophisticated now. And it works. It works. So, it works without a problem. The store app I was talking about really fast. Go on the days when you have to, you know, wait for so few seconds for it to load. Now it works like a charm. Oops, open the Outlook again. Let's open the calendar. Fast. SMS messages very fast again. The Skype is also there for the new users. Let's take a look at it. It looks so much more different. Since I'm already I've already signed into the 
using my I've already signed using my live ID it already knows my username and password didn't have to enter it at all so much more faster and reliable than before that's what I've heard about this app so I need to use it there for my calls but I will be calling a lot of a number of people now just to check it I will get back to you guys uh, how the Skype works but so far it looks very smooth even on this low-end hardware so very nice let's hope the notification thing has been fixed because earlier it used to take a lot of time the notification for delayed a long march so have it as if any of you have installed this build, let me know if the Microsoft is uh, ready to pass it on to the general public or not. As usual, if you like the video, make sure to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. Bye-bye.